No, I'm just kidding. After posting two different videos where I go into how my eating is not down and I am not making gains, gaining weight whatsoever, been at 165 for a couple months, it's great pleasure to announce that I've gotten my diet in check. For the past 10 days, I've been doing Andy Frisella's 75 hard, and one of the rules of that is you have to choose a diet, stick to it, no junk food. And avoiding junk food really isn't a challenge for me, but clearly eating enough protein and hitting my calories is. But for the past 10 days, I've hit at least 3,500 calories every single day. And for the first time in my entire life, I've stepped on the scale and have seen 170. I mean, yeah, it was later in the day and I had a couple meals in me, but I'm still gonna take that. I'll probably make a full video dedicated to 75 hard, but this is a full day of eating, French toast, sausage, egg. This meal is about 912 calories, 44 protein, 42 fat, 84 carbs. It's gonna be pretty evident, but I'm gonna let y'all know now. I prefer high fats way more than high carb. I've tried to do super high carb. Last year I was doing like 700 to 1,000 carbs a day for I think a week or two. And bro, I was in the bathroom taking bad dumpy like every hour. I feel better when my carbs are around three to 500, and then honestly my fats get pretty close to 200 most days. of the day is usually already prepped but this just happens to be the day that I have to prep it so I have like six Tupperwares full of pasta right now and then I have to cook all this ground beef and prep I drop my meat Meal two, which is also the pre-workout meal, is gonna be eight ounces of grass-fed beef and about a cup and a fourth of pasta. And a pretty generous amount of pasta sauce because you're definitely gonna need a little more sauce for all this volume. This meal's pretty similar to breakfast. It is 53 protein, 42 fat, 82 carbs, which comes up to 910 calories, literally two calories off breakfast. So yeah, this is the pre-workout meal, but I'm not eating it right before I go work out. I'm probably gonna chill for about one to two hours and then it's gonna be gym time where we're hitting a push day. See you there. So we are here at the gym. Oh, hey Tim. I did say in the ice bath video that chest days have not been going very well. I've just not been feeling it. Bench sucks. But my past two have been pretty good, but I just realized it's because I've lifted with people both those times and I'm here by myself, so great. This is a chest day fit if I've ever seen one. Post-workout meal, same every day, is a smoothie with whole milk, frozen blueberries, traditional oats, and triple zero protein yogurt. And paired wonderfully with an Anabar. Shout out Rem, Ank, Final Boss, Code Mog, all that. I eat one to two Anabars a day, usually post-workout, and then also at night if I didn't hit my calories. These come in clutch to hit my protein and my calories at the end of the day. My favorite thing about this meal is that it doesn't stay on my stomach very long. I'm not full for very long, so even if I have a workout later in the day, I can have this right after, cook dinner, and be able to finish my dinner. Wait, wait, wait. It was a squirrel. What's he doing though? I don't think he has a license for that. So the meals I've had so far are literally the same meals I eat basically every single day, but dinner is usually where I mix it up. Some nights it's salmon, some nights it's steak, some nights it's ground beef again. Some nights I buy a wok and I'm gonna try to learn how to make fried rice. Look how much fucking rice I made last night. You're supposed to like make the rice and set it in the fridge to make like that good fried rice the next day. Yeah, we're on to something right now. So here we have the final fried rice and some shrimp that I had left over that I added in. I found egg fried rice on my tracking app, but I went ahead and added an entire extra tablespoon 
of olive oil because I honestly believe there's that much extra in this rice. So yeah, egg fried rice, veggies, shrimp, comes out to 911 calories, which is funny because one of the meals was 910, one of the meals was 912, and this one's 911. Wait. So after the fried rice, my dessert is going to be two cups of frosted honey bunches of oats, which is actually really good, and another cup of whole milk, which comes out to 470 calories which puts us at 3,922 calories, 215 protein, 143 fat, 473 carbs. Part of 75 hard is like picking your diet and sticking to it. So my diet is essentially hitting between 3,500 and 4,000 calories and no junk, which junk for me is like fried food, fast food, junk food, like Doritos. So you might've seen in a couple vlogs, we have a dog, her name is Patches. This is what she looks like. This is also what she looks like. Brad.